Hey everybody, welcome back to DeLorean Tech. And today I wanted to do a really quick comparison video of the Eagle Moss 1.8 scale DeLorean versus the Hot Toys 1.6 scale DeLorean. So as you can see right off the bat, there's quite a few differences other than just the size. Obviously the 1.6 scale DeLorean completely dwarfs the Eagle Moss 8 scale DeLorean. But other than that, there's actually quite a few differences here. I'm not going to go through all of them, but right off the bat, you can kind of see the fascias. They're almost inversed with the with the stainless. So this stainless on the Eagle Moss almost has a little bit more of like a, I don't want to say a gold tone or like a, a bronze tone, but definitely the Hot Toys DeLorean has more of a stainless look. I like the, the fascias on the Eagle Moss versus the Hot Toys. I think they, they got that right. There's obviously a lot of differences with the time machine components as well. Another big difference, but you can't tell on video, is that the Eagle Moss weighs quite a bit more than the Hot Toys, okay? It is mostly made out of metal as far as the, uh, the stainless goes and a lot of other stuff. This is basically almost all plastic. The other big difference was that when this first came out, it was only about, I think, $650, $700. When you put this thing together, you're in the hole about maybe $2,300, $2,400 total. So that's definitely something to consider if you're choosing between these two. So the Eagle Moss got it right when it came to the tires. It does have the movie accurate Goodyear Eagle GT sidewalls, whereas the Hot Toys DeLorean does not. Okay, so here's a comparison with the doors open. Now, one note about the Eagle Moss, it is very cumbersome. So if you're looking for something that you can display and, you know, you, you want to display it in a certain way, like with the doors open, it's going to be tough because these doors are very heavy. And I've actually got the doors supported by fish line right now. Um, but I wanted to show you guys the inside. The Eagle Moss compared to the Hot Toys. So quite a big difference there. Clearly one of the larger differences is that you completely assemble the Eagle Moss model 100% versus the Hot Toys comes mostly assembled. You do have to install the flux bands, but that's about it. This thing you piece together, there's almost 200 parts, I think, total in this thing. One thing I am hoping for is for the Mark II Hot Toys is that they get the fascias right this time because they look a little too bronzy versus these fascias look great. So which one do I prefer? So if I really had to make a decision between these two, I think I would go with the 1-6 scale Hot Toys. Not just because it's a lot bigger, but I do like the way the stainless looks compared to the Eagle Moss. I think it actually looks like a what a DeLorean stainless steel would look like. I, I do like the Eagle Moss a lot. It is kind of wonky. Uh, it was very difficult to put together. There was a lot of frustrating uh, issues with it. With the DeLorean from Hot Toys, you get a perfect DeLorean right out of the box and you don't have to mess around with parts that have failed, uh, <laughs> reissued parts, uh, that kind of stuff. If you look at the back though, um, I, I gotta admit the Eagle Moss taillights uh, look a bit better than what's back here on the Hot Toys. Anyway guys, that's my quick comparison of the Eagle Moss and Hot Toys DeLoreans. Let me know which one you like the best. And if you had a choice, which one would you get? Drop your answer down in the comments below. And once again, thanks for watching.